It's been raining since the last one. One of the nice ones here has suggested this particular port. It's not very bad. The Imperial stuff wasn't harsh, but it, I think the 10% may have been a little harsh. Um, it's, it's almost as though I took a shot of double espresso along with the grounds. The aftertaste is not particularly pleasant, but um, hopefully this lovely young porter, which is this one, Melbourne brewed, enjoyed anywhere. It's a stomping ground, bunker porter. Hmm. And to over, what we got here. 10 cent refund, very interesting. People don't, it's beyond me why people don't collect cans anymore. Um, what does it say? Legion has it, yeah, whatever. Oh, 6.2. Wow, I'm definitely going home after this one. Anyway, so this was going on out here. Now, here's a fascinating story that was just told to me by one of the people seated at this table to the left. Now, I won't stay with them. But apparently they are a group of deaf people. And I noticed them when I came in, they were all sitting there signing to one another, but in different different ways. And fortunately one of the people who is seated there has come in and he's somebody that I've met several times before and he's given me the background on it. Different groups. Now, now he's much older than the rest and what has happened is over the years since he learned sign language, the language has <coughs> developed, it's evolved. And he found that it took a while for him to pick it up again because some of the people there are younger. And it's no different um, for me. I learned New Zealand Māori on the marae and more or less at the feet of the elders. And it was an oral language, not a written one. So I find it very difficult to converse with younger New Zealand Māori who have learned it at university or polytech or in school classes, not because of the different uh, districts and dialects but simply because a lot of words have been since manufactured and I can't I cannot understand them. However, if I go onto a marae for a tangi or a um, just to get together and I sit among the elders, I pick it up relatively quickly and I can speak it 
But otherwise, it's, it's kind, I guess it's kind of like my Spanish, where unless I'm with a Spanish group of speakers, I and I can write it, and I can read it, but other than that, I'm pretty buggy. But anyway, so this is what's happening. Here's for the ladies. Oh, dang it, in the way. But anyways, he's kind of a pocket full of goodness. So this is me, waffling on. I'm going to continue enjoying the back and forth here. And go back to Four Corners and Genuine Sterling. Last responder just came in. That was great. So I'll um, catch you later.